I have this old pair of Arc'teryx Gore-Tex XCR waterproof trousers. And they have a built-in gaiter type thing down the bottom. And all of the other bonding there seems okay. But unfortunately, the bonding along there on both legs and there has gone. I did test this one earlier on a few days ago just to really make sure that it would work. The rest of the trousers seems to be in, in very, very good condition and that then just gets that nice and tight along there. So I think, like I said, I've never done this before. I'm not, I'm your Frank Spencer when it comes to repairing things. Oh, the little one wants that. There you go, go there. And we'll just run a line along the seam. Now, maybe, maybe, maybe we might actually get this to work. It would be a quite minor miracle if it actually did. But they're a nice pair of trousers. I don't know how long I've had these. I don't know when Gore-Tex stopped doing XCR. Must have been a while ago. There's a tiny bit of spillage along the top but not much. We've actually done quite a decent job there. Mind you, it wasn't that difficult, was it really? I'm just gonna put just a dab under that. Okay, well we'll record the <laughs> we'll record the other one. At least you've done it anyway. Yeah, so I was kind of thinking that, you know, I've got them, they fit, they're a size small. Let's give them another give them another lease of life that might be used for some time. Because the, the the sticky is gone on this as well. Okay, it's, it seems quite firm up there, so I think I'll leave that. Okay, so we might be able to put a little line down there. So what we're using is seam grip with WP, which I presume means waterproof. I really don't think you need very much, and I kind of sort of think that you can, if you put a little in, it will kind of spread around anyway. I'm not sure. There I exactly got any under that. Probably did. We'll put a bit more. Like I said, I'm all your I'm all your Frank Spencer when it comes to this type of repair. We will let that dry. Right, as always happens with me. I recorded and then I realized that I probably not set uh, this camera here up. Although if I keep quiet, you won't even know I made the, <laughs> the editing error. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to seal this bit here. We've already done this bit here and we've already done this bit here. And what we'll do is we'll let it dry and then tomorrow we will we will go over the pocket because a pocket needs doing as well. We'll get the the seam grip and adhesive and we will find out whether it is any good or not really. 
and basically we're just going to run a line just along the original where the bonding has failed. I did put a request into Arcteryx several years ago when the bonding failed on another one of my, on a jacket and, I, and they, they didn't do anything. So I did, I did email them and I guess them they're due, they did say send photographs and everything, but I had difficulty sending the pictures. So in the end, I thought, oh, well, they're probably not going to do it anyway. So we may as well, we, we may as well just do it ourselves. I doubt they're going to watch my video. If they do and they want to send me another pair of trousers, then, <laughs> then obviously I won't say no, but I don't think they'll do that. So we will repair these. Okay. Right, I'm not going to put the books on the top because I, I did try that when I did the other side and the only thing I managed to achieve was to almost stick the book. We're going to let that be and then we will reconvene probably tomorrow morning and we'll have a look at the pocket. This is like the snow skirt. Does anyone know what do you put through what you put through there to hold this down under your boot. Is there anything specific that people use on these? Because like I said, I've I've got these and I've never really I've never really used them very much. Okay, so what we're going to try and do here is repair the pocket. I've already done the top one just to make sure that it works. So we're now going to do this side and we will, I think we can, we can also try and do the bottom as well. So you can see the bonding along there has failed. So it's strange that all the other bonding, thank, well thankfully, because if it had all failed, we'd be, it just be, would be too much to do at all. But um, it's just interesting that you know, most of the seam bonding has failed. And yet this stuff, sorry, has, has not failed. And so we're going to ruin a wee, a wee wee line down there. Just be sure to get some, obviously I'm just doing this to show you what I'm doing. I'm not recommending this because I, you know, I'm just, <laughs> just in case it doesn't work. So run, run it that way and that gets the, the glue up into that corner and the same there, run it that way. So you, you get the glue down there and then hopefully, I mean, obviously it's not going to be as breathable because we're putting glue on it and probably what they do is, is probably more breathable. But I mean, you know, we're talking about millimeters here because we're already here and we're doing it. We may as well do this last seam along there. Cause like I said, I've done the top one and then I think just leave it for 24 hours. Like I said, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it or not, but we will see. Just run it along there. And then that little bit of excess and just, I don't go in for all this health and safety stuff that you can't get it on your fingers. It has, I think I did put a bit too much there, but we'll just, we'll rub it back into the seam like that. And it's only that little patch that's now not going to be breathable. But like I said, you know, you're looking at one centimeter. I thought we'd just take a look at the work that we have done. And we will see whether it works. So we've glued that patch down. We've glued 
that down there. So we've done a thing there. Hopefully it, it stays and we've glued and we've glued this bit down here. So the, I think the idea is, is that you can pull the leg, <laughs> pull, pull your leg, pull this bit around your boot and that's got bungee on it which is already there. So we've done that one. I'm amazed how, I'm amazed how grubby that is to be honest given as I say, God, look, I don't think I've hardly worn them, so I don't know why they're quite so dirty, but anyway. And then, obviously, we've done this one here, so we've glued that one down there, and then we've glued that patch there back in place, and obviously, we've glued that down. And we have glued the pocket. So that's the pocket there. That's the pocket. It's quite a small... <laughs> it's not a very big pocket, which you could get a get a hanky in there or something. We will see how well it, it lasts. You can see how long I've had these, so you know, so small Gore-Tex XCR. So ooh, they're quite cozy, aren't they? <laughs> I definitely need to lose a bit more weight. They do up just. <laughs> That's the pocket that we've repaired. And but let's see. So you've got that that goes around your boot. You've got one there, so I don't quite know how they work exactly. But that's just got that done up there. That's not too bad. Like I said, I don't know, I don't know how waterproof they still are, they should be. I mean, I go the Gore-Tex hasn't been used or anything. They're definitely on the, <laughs> they're definitely on the tight side. I definitely need to lose a bit more weight, but they, they fit just. I don't know whether I use them this year or not, but, or this coming year. I probably, I've got others that I can wear, but I just thought I would uh, just try and fix them up, you know, try, try and do something useful for once. And obviously then there's the zip from the top. Sit there. Sit there for ventilation. And obviously you could get to your, you could get to your own pocket, just about there. So yeah, we'll keep we'll keep trying to lose a bit more around the middle. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this funny little video of repairing something or attempting to repair something. We'll see you in the next video.